So you might be able to tell from the mild disarray behind me that Gretchen and I are doing a challenge today. Uh, we're each going to do one of the do I have that book tag things uh, because we never did the original one. I'm going to do the first one, Gretchen's going to do the second one, we're going to have some fun. I think because there's so many books that are being pulled that are involved in all of this, um, we're also each going to do a separate video where we go over the books that we picked. Um, because we are pulling books from our shelves that we may not have read yet, because my books are definitely a mixture of TBR and read, and I know Gretchen's are as well, we may not have a lot to say about all of the books, um, but we'll do a little bit of a discussion and talk about our feelings on some of those if any of them are interesting to you. We are very different readers, so we're definitely going to be picking books that are uh, on different ends of the spectrum uh, all over the place. All right, here's where... Gretchen does a really fun thing where she does a scavenger hunt with only a third of her books. Super exciting. Hit me. A box? Um. Oh my god. Uh, I. Oh! Okay. I'm gonna have to undo so much of this. This is the art of Julie Kagawa's Shadow of the Fox, but the original or like eventual art of this book has the fox on the cover. Fun facts for me in my life. Uh, my camera didn't record like 90% of me searching for books. So... <laughs> This is take two. And either I'm gonna pull from a stack of books to the left here because I can't find anything behind me, or I'm gonna try and find a second book that fits a prompt. See how this goes. What was the first one? It was Deckle Badges, right? which I just did a review of, has deckled edges. Best Friends at Exorcism by Grady Hendrix has multiple people on it. So music, like magical music, or just like anything magic? Okay, I know that I used to. There's this book that I can like literally see that I had a cover of that was all about music magic, but it's not here anymore. I gave it away. So, no. <laughs> Do you have a book based on this? Same as this is the first, I have Hag Seed written by Margaret Atwood, which is a retelling of The Tempest. Oh my god. Um, okay. So, this is like really. 
really splitting hairs, but this is the Wicked King by Holly Black, and it is a Barnes & Noble exclusive edition. But this is the sequel, The Cruel Prince, and while it's also the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition, they've switched uh, the color of the lettering from silver to gold, and uh, the stickers are different, so this has a square sticker and this has a circle sticker, which is also different from its uh, third one, which also goes back to having the square sticker. And if you know anything about these Barnes & Noble stickers, you cannot take them off. So I have to kind of look all mismatched on these, even though it's like a really, really small thing compared to how some of these covers look. Do you have a book with a title 10 letters long? Mm. Never wear my meal game in. <laughs> Dark Forest by Sershin Lu, T and T. Okay, that's like literally almost everything right here. Um, so I guess we will go with, this is Hey Kiddo by Derek Zeka, and it is signed by him. Gunslinger by Stephen King. Oh, I already gave you. Okay, um, this is Unspoken by Sarah Ray Spray. It's mostly red, but it's in black and it's seven to go. You have a book written by an author using a pen. the same one because I can't find the other book that I have by her. Um, Into the Drowning Deep by Mira Grant, who is Shannon McGuire's pen name. The 
answer is no. I give up. Do you have a book with a character's name in the title? Yeah. Uh, Nevermore The Trials of Morgan Crow. took me forever I'm not even gonna try I'm gonna own up to the fact that it took me forever but this copy of Aragon that I have has a map at the front map at the back Dark by Charlene Harris, which is what True Blood is based off of. Cybercrime technology, yes. Um, I was just thinking about this book actually. So this is the second book in this series because the first one's harder to get at. But this is Wild Card by Marie Lu. It's all about technology and the cyberspace and all that jazz. Sawbones Book uh, by Sydney and Justin McElroy. They have a podcast by the same name. This 
got pocket watches on it. Outlaws of Time, The Legend of Sam Miracle by N.D. Wilson. Why would you do this to me? Um, actually, I don't think that book actually has a moon on the cover, except for like in words. So, moon, do I have anything? Oh, oh my goodness, I found one. There's actually two moons on this. This is before she ignites by Jody Meadows, and there are two, two moons. I'm fairly certain. We'll put an award stamp on. Uh, Underground Railroad, Railroad by Colson Whitehead, National Book Award winner. Arrival by Sean Tan. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous illustrations. Actually, wordless. So it's a wordless picture book. <laughs> book with this author written by the same initials. Oh you? no. Honest to God, I think that this is the the literal only one that I have. So I'm gonna have to reuse this one. Um, I spent like 10 minutes looking for this last time. But uh, Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. entirely about um, tons of different fairy tale tropes um, in different like dictionary style uh, entries. So I would, this might be cheating, but this is an amazing little book. A book of short stories. Short stories. Paper Menagerie by Ken Liu. the immortal realms and the humans in the human realm um, to fight against the gods of chaos. So there you go. The frame may have changed, everything might be different, my camera died in the middle of that, but I did wind up finding one. I have Wool by Hugh Howey, and Wool ended up being 509 pages exactly. <laughs> by Julie Powell turned into the film Julie and Julia.
Yes, I do, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. In my desk. The Adventure Zone. Here there be Gerblins, which is the first book in the Adventure Zone graphic novel adaptation of their uh, Replay D&D podcast. So, The Adventure Zone. Here there be Gerblins. A broken spine? Um, no. No. No, I actively try not to break my signs. Like, actively. That hurts my soul. And these are all my special books. So no, I do not have a book with a broken spine. Okay. You have a book written by two or more authors. On my shelves, there's one? Uh -huh. Oh, God. Oh, you're right. Um, this one's easy for me to grab right now. I have Gemina, which is the second book in that one by Amy Kaufman and uh, Jay Kristoff. There you go. I hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, weird shenanigans that we did. We went all over the place and had to find a bunch of books and it was actually harder to find some of those things than we thought. Uh, so that was actually lots of fun to do. I hope you guys are having an okay life in quarantine and uh, we'll talk to you again soon.